Hello and welcome to the Java tutorial videos. Today on this tutorial I will be showing you about NetBeans, the IDE. I'll be showing you how to create a file, how to create a project, how to export that project, and how to import the project. So let's go ahead and get started. Once you start NetBeans, you'll be greeted by this start page here. And if you don't want this start page to show up anymore, you can go ahead and uncheck it from this checkbox here. Go ahead and close out the start page. And whenever you open up NetBeans without the start page, you'll be greeted by this. You have your projects here, your files, and then your services. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to arrange all of these panes to the way that I like to have it. I like to put the output window the output window on the same place as the projects and I like to split the files and the projects in two. Okay, so this is how I like to have my NetBeans organized. Now let's go ahead and create a project. The projects in NetBeans are folders which contain all of the source code and all of the different packages and other folders that you will be using. So to create a project you can either click here on this orange button here that says new project or you could also go to file and then click new project. Once you click on new project, depending on which version of NetBeans you've downloaded, whether you've downloaded the one that only brings Java or the one that brings everything else, there are different variations, you'll have a different number of categories here. Since we are doing Java, I'm going to go ahead and click on Java and Java application. Click next. And in the project name, this project name that I'll be giving is specific for Professor Charter's COP2250 class. If you are not in her class and you're just watching this video on your own, you can go ahead and ignore this naming convention. The naming convention for her class will be your last name, followed by your first name, all put together. And then depending on whether you're doing an assignment or a lab, you would type in assignment or you would type in lab. I'm going to go ahead and type in assignment. We'll make one for the lab later and then you put the assignment number. For this one I'm going to put assignment 01. Then once you're finished with there, once you're finished typing the name, make sure you uncheck this create main class and then go ahead and click on finish. Okay. So once NetBeans has already finished all of its process and has opened up your projects, it might have opened up some other some other windows. So I'm going to close out the navigator and I'm going to close out services again. And as you can see here are your projects and inside here is your default package which is where you would put all of your files for that assignment. And then here in files is what it would look like in Windows Explorer. As you can see, there's a build and a manifest, but it doesn't show up here in projects. <laughs> so now I'm going to go ahead and create a new file, a new Java file. And to do that, you can click on this button here, new file, or again, you can click on file, new file. Once the dialog box opens up, you'll have a number of categories that you can pick from. Again, we're going to use Java and then we're going to click on Java main class right here. Click next. And then I'm going to name this Hello World. And then once you finish typing all of that that you need, you can go ahead and click finish. Now, even though it says that it's recommended that you, that you do not place Java classes in the default package, that's okay. We're going to leave it as is. We're going to put it into the default package. So you go ahead and ignore that warning and then click finish. And then as you can see now, hello world is here, all opened. And in the SRC in the files, it shows hello world. This is your source window. This is where you would type all of your code and where all of your code will execute from. By default, all of these comments are put automatically and they can be changed if you follow these instructions. I'm not going to go over that now, but I'm going to go ahead and delete them. I'm going to put my full name here in the author and I'm going ahead and delete these as well 
Another thing I like to do is I like to make sure that these braces here are on individual lines. It's easier to see the hierarchy. And then inside here, this line will be where we type our first code. So to write our first code, we're going to put system dot. And then as you can see, this is one of the benefits of using an IDE like NetBeans is that it will provide assistance to you. So if you don't know what the method is called, you have a list here and it shows you everything that can be done with whatever it is that you typed here. In my case, it's system. So this is everything that can be performed with system. We're going to go ahead and use out for this one. So you can either double click on it or you can push tab. Then I'm going to put another period and then I'm going to select print LN. I'm going to click on tab this time. And as you can see that it automatically finishes it up puts the semicolon, which is very important in Java. And inside the parentheses is where we're going to type hello world. So I'm going to put double quotes and that means will automatically put the other double quotes for you. And I'm going to type in hello world. Now this inside here is what's going to be printed out. Not that it's going to print out via a printer, but it's going to print out in this output window here. So to run it, you can go ahead and click on run and then run file. But first, I always like to compile the files first just to check for any syntax errors or any or any other types of errors. Once the build is complete and it says that it's successful, I'll go ahead and actually run the file now. So I'll go ahead and click on run, run file, or you can click shift F6. And then as you can see, there's hello world. Now I'm going to create another project and this one will be for the labs. I'm going to click on this button here, job application, and I'm going to use the same naming convention, labs or lab zero one and finish. And then inside here, I'm going to go ahead again and make a new file make another main class. I'm going to call this hello professor, professor, finish. And as you can see, it opens it up and it keeps the other hello world file. So you can have multiple files open at once. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to format this again, put my full name, Put this on a separate line, separate line. And on this line here, we're going to do the same. The system out print LN. Now, before you start typing, there's a shortcut that you should know, which will help anytime you need to use system out print line. If you type in S O U T S out, and then you push tab immediately, it will automatically create the system out print line and it will automatically put the double quotes for you. And now in between those double quotes, I'm going to go ahead and type in hello, professor. And I'm going to go on run and run file. And as you can see, it says here, hello, professor. So that's how you create projects and how you create files. Now I'm going to show you how to export the project as a zip file. To do that, go ahead and click on file go to export project and then click on to zip and then select which project it is that you want to use. I'm going to use assignment 001 and then select where it is you want to send it to. I'm going to put it on my desktop and I'm going to name it the same thing as what the project is named. The is Caesar first last name assignment assignment 01 and very important Make sure you put the dot zip because if you don't, it saves it as a generic file. And although you can fix it after it's been saved, it'll save you time by just putting the dot zip already. So then go ahead and click save and then click on export. And if all works well, it'll automatically open it up for you. And then here's my assignment 001. There's the SRC and there's the Java file. Now to import a project from a zip file, 
you would go ahead and click on file, import project, and then you would click on from zip. And then you would browse for wherever the file is. And then from there you would open it up. But since this project already exists, I am going to remove it from here. I'm going to close the project. So that way it gets rid of it from here. And then I'm going to head and then I'm going to import it just to show you how it works. Again, I'm going to browse for it, go to the desktop, click on the zip file, and then click open. And even though it already exists, I'm just going to go ahead and replace it. And then it opens it up right here. And that's how you import the project from a zip folder. This concludes the introduction to NetBeans tutorial video. This tutorial was very brief and very short, showing you how to create a project, how to create files, how to export the project, and how to import those projects. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.